I'm going to start this tutorial in GarageBand even though it's about a slideshow in iMovie because I want to show how I exported this from GarageBand and it is similar in other apps so here was the song that I want to use as a soundtrack I hold on that and then this export or sharing icon comes up when I tap that icon I get the option here to open it in other apps so GarageBand is going to ask me some of my options I'm just going to click on share takes a few seconds to bring up the next set of options but you see right here is iMovie so I'm going to pick that and that opens up iMovie and it gives me the option to create a new movie or to add it to some existing project so I'm actually going to pick create new movie and that puts the song down here as an audio track before I bring in the pictures I'm going to do a couple settings if you tap the gear icon you could change the theme if you want I usually keep it on modern simple or bright you could pick whichever one you want we don't want theme music because we're using our own background music but I usually do turn on the fade in from black and fade out to black then if you tap up here on the photos you will have an option for the camera roll and here are my pictures that I'm going to bring in if you hold on these it'll show you what the picture is over in the left in the preview whether or not you need to preview them you're going to just tap them and the order that you tap them you can see it is adding them to the project so I'm just going to pick about four of these and you notice that in between each one it added a transition and it dragged it brought them down into the timeline you can zoom in or out on the timeline and it's probably easiest for a project like this to make them small enough that you can see them as many as possible on the timeline if you want to change the order later you can just hold on a clip and drag it and if you want to turn a transition on or off when you tap the transition you could pick off which has no transition at all now it just changes from one to the other immediately or you could do the theme transition these these change based on that theme that you picked so in the modern one you can see it brings in those lines and then you can select some others that they have and you can select how long it will be too if you tap the time you can change it from 0.5 seconds up to 2 seconds I'm actually going to leave it on the crossfeed the length of a picture is really easy to change just by dragging how long it is in the timeline so I can make that picture display longer then I can also display what you see at the beginning and the end of that clip so at the beginning you could slide this and zoom in basically pinch and zoom to simulate the pan and zoom of the camera that's the starting position of that frame then I can either tap that arrow right there or simply drag it to the end tap the clip again and I can set where that will be at the end of the clip now notice when I play this as a preview what it does is it starts there and slowly pans down to the location I set for the end fades into the next picture so you would repeat that for each one of your pictures you can set it how long you want it and you can set the start and end position maybe right there now actually my background track was so short you see that it ends right there I would have to really make those pictures short to get them all in in the length of that short song but you see the idea is arrange them in order set the length then set the pan and zoom when you're happy with it you can export it just tap this back arrow in the upper left to go back to the project area if you tap the export icon you can save the video it'll ask you how large you want it I usually pick large you could go medium large or HD for these type of videos I usually just do large and that will export that to the camera roll from there you could share it with other applications or you could put it on YouTube.